I was in Wales. I did the oldest pub crawl in the world. It's called the Mumbles Mile. And all these old, beautiful pubs, you're walking along and having, having drinks, getting more schnockered the further you go. And there was this lady in this very colorful regalia, and she's holding a bucket, and she's collecting money for children's charities. And I was sitting back, just kind of watching her, and people would come up, and they were giving her money, but they were running away. They weren't even acknowledging her as a person, because I, I guess she was dressed so, so vibrantly. And so I walk over to her, and I said, hey, thank you so much for your doing. And I put money in her bucket. She's like, all right, good on you. And she went to grab my dick. I didn't know that that's what was happening. But this is an old lady. I don't want to be rude, so I didn't run away. I just kind of went like this, so I was out of reach. And I thought it was over. She went in again. I was like, every time she came in, I was... But I didn't move my feet. That would be rude. So I was like one of those toys you press down and it crumbles and it goes back up like this. I was just... Don't. I don't be... No, stop it. Hey, what? Stop it. Lady, no. No, stop it. I eventually walked away. <laughs> But then I get, to, uh, I get to Japan months later, and I'm at a sake, sake bar drinking with the owner of a sake brewery. And there's a very loud table of guys next to us. And they came over to see what we were doing, uh, shooting the show. And they were pretty hammered. And one of the guys comes up, and I know this look. He was a crotch grabber, I could tell. And he came up, but I was ready for him. He comes and he's like, ah, I'm like, ha ha, uh-uh. I will turn around on you, buddy. I'm not, I'll move my feet for you. And then he was like, he'd walk away, and then he'd kind of sneak around. I'm like, what? Nope, stop it. Nope, get away. And I'm like, I'm now trying to have a conversation with this guy who owns a sake brewery, but this guy, this crotch grabber, keeps running around, and I have to, like, get out of the way. And then at some point, I'm like, no, I can't live my life like this. I can't live my life in fear. I'm going to... I'm gonna take a chance. And, and I did it, I risked, I risked it all. And he, next time I saw him, he came to me and I just stood there. And when he was about six feet away, I locked eyes with him. I put my hands firmly on my hips and I said, when you grab it, you don't let go, buddy. Get it, get it. He was like, no!